in my opinion. And moving on. So um, then, so we we covered the Verizon slump in activations, and the carriers warning of now uh, worrying about the the whole subsidy that uh, Apple has. And I want to make sure that, that I, I didn't miss any others here. Yeah, so they're saying that we already covered the 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 whole soft spot on the on, on the max, and that's and that's sad then. I, don't, I would hope, because see, I don't think, we're, we're getting the tablets later, I, I wouldn't want the iPad to be my main, my main product, versus a Mac. So, well, it's, well, no, you just got to sit back and let Apple back themselves into the iPad corner, and then when the tablets actually start to do computing tasks, Apple will just go bye-bye, and it will be a better industry, and we'll all be happy for it. No, I don't want Apple to... <laughs> We'll all be happier for it. <laughs> so, um, okay. that's the link. And you can, we'll put, oh, Russell will put uh, most of these links in the show notes so that you guys can. Yeah, I'm going to have to click through them and post, so it'll take me longer to get this up. But. New York Times, all kinds of stuff uh, in there. And yep. too much for the podcast, I just recommend going on to the show and and um, clicking on the links in the, in the description of, of the YouTube video there. Okay, was there another big point to go into an Apple, or? No, I mean, that really was, the, it was what's happening with the stocks. And okay, the, and okay. I, since you brought up Verizon, before we get into Sladyland, uh, supposedly Verizon is going to be aiming to kill the ability for LTE to become interoperable, so let's look into that real quick. Uh, let's see, what are they doing here? Uh, yeah, LTE is common. It's the CDMA versus GSM little war going on in the U.S. Uh, multimedia technology carriers are now coaxing around mutual excess spectrum bands. The result is the same. A Verizon LTA. Uh, yeah, they're doing exactly what we were fucking afraid of. Even though LTE can be interoperable and neutral, Verizon, and I'm sure AT&T soon to follow, they're going to narrow their bands and basically say, Ah, just when you thought you could swap the phones between our networks. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah, you know, this is the most... It, for those of you who are wondering what the sun, in the same way you can't take a T-Mobile phone to AT&T and AT&T to T-Mobile because they're on different 3G, they're on different uh, GSM bands. They're basically Verizon's going to be doing the same thing with LTE. They're like, oh, well, this is our sub band, which means basically you're screwed. Brought to you care of U.S. government regulation. You're screwed. Brought to you, care of U.S. government regulation. Don't you feel special? God damn it. We had hopes. We had hopes. And they dashed them. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, do you... Well, do, no, I don't... You know I don't stick up for carriers, you know, so... Anyway, no, but do you think there's any way we will ever be able to break this, you know... I hope we can. Government-enforced bureaucracy of you're just screwed. Uh, it's, uh, it's very frustrating. Very, 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 very frustrating. I mean, because honestly, for competition to really set in here, if Verizon pisses me off, I should be able to pick up, take my phone, and go to AT&T. Or vice yeah. versa, or Sprint, or whatever. I should just be able to hop between the carriers, taking my phone that still works, that I'm still happy with, and just hop around and around and around Absolutely. and around, rather than, oh, thank you, Mr. New Customer. Please buy a phone. Please right. sign a two-year contract. Please subsidize us for another yada, 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 yada. Oh, yes, and if we screw you, don't worry. You're ours for X time. Uh, it, no, stop it. <laughs> no. I can't defend carriers. I, I really hope we do one day get to the point we can, yeah. I, I, I can't really add any. Well, I, re I mean, really, who has to, who has to get out of, the, who's enforcing that most? The carriers are benefiting from it, but really, what's enforcing it most is the government red tape. 
uh, about you you I mean the the war you have to go on to import a device into the United States that would actually be full spectrum unlocked where you could hop it around like that I, the biggest enemy to that is the United States government <laughs> all right they're your tablet stories lead the way you know I want to I want to I'm going to because there's boy do we cover tablets a lot in our shows I'm going to agree with Rusty and Matt. I'm not, I don't have a problem with the form factor. The problem I have is just... Finally! We've converted him! <laughs> no, no, no. I admitted that before. I kept saying, but I want to start off with that. Now, you you already know that I said form factor is irrelevant. That I could have a paper-thin Mac card with Bob and Bob. Touch and predominantly the software that's running on today's uh, tablets irritates me. Okay? And... And, and there are those companies, <clears throat> Apple, that pretend uh, they're post PC, and there are other companies that understand we're not. <laughs> and that the tablet itself needs to grow into being what we expect in terms of computing power of the, of the desktop. Anyway, I found this interesting because this is a, a place where I do think tablets will, will do well, which we, I think we've discussed before, niche markets like e-readers and other things like that, very much like what a Kindle is, right? Well, th this article goes into, and it's from the Sacramento Bee, and it's titled, Tablets are Leading Alternative for Full-Length TV Show Viewing After Televisions, According to Viacom's Tapping Into Tablet, Tablet, Tablet Onyx Study. I found that interesting. I, and, and maybe that's a new niche uh, for tablets. You know, they're... If they don't do anything hey, else you know, with ironically, you are TV arguing TV. against this. You're like, why am I going to watch it on my on my slate when I can watch it on the uh, TV? I know on my TV is my answer, but apparently it's it's that they're able to catch up, which is something that you like, which is about the content distribution. Yeah. And that they're at home, and they watch it, but hey, they want they got to go to work or whatever. Maybe they take they take the bus or something. Well, no, and this and, is one of the reasons, and this and is they're actually, able to catch up on their shows by doing it on demand. And, the, and this right here is one of the reasons I think the slates are not a fed and are here to stay and are going to grow up by force because I, I look at an iPad. When I say tablets, let's be real. The only real tablet that is out there with any damn sort of success is, is, is the iPad, okay? And that is a fad, okay? Now, uh, Zoom, fad. Well, your argument by nature of its proxy is flawed, but okay, moving moving on to what yeah. I was going to get at. This argument right here, that they are con that they are like niche market content consumption devices, and I'm going to steal one of your arguments, the everybody's a power user argument. People right. are going to buy them to be their Kindle, their their iPad See, or something, whatever, and then, then they're, once they get used to this, they're like, I want it to do more. It has to do more. I want it, right. I'm using it. It must do more. It's Right. And you just validated my point. That's right. It's going to have to mature into being a desktop PC. And I think it will. You yeah, know, I do too. Exactly. The, the we have I don't think touch will lead the way. It's not going to be, it's good. in other words, what I'm seeing with like uh, RIMS offering, and Web OS offering the the mouse with like the gestures and what OS X even has, you know, like when you do the gestures, those cards operate very similar idea. But has, have you ever used a keyboard with an iPad? It's so cumbersome. So cumbersome. Well, uh, well, okay, but what you're getting at <laughs> is that basically, and I agree with this aspect, the industry seems to have flunked user experience human factors 101. I honestly wonder if they teach this in college anymore because I know all of these guys have a college degree. Why, I'm not sure, because they don't seem to have learned anything from it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because, I mean, what you're talking about, it, it, and this is one of the things, it, it always bamboozles the bejesus out of me, people that don't get this. You know, the human factors, the design uh, 101 stuff. It's not even the really complex stuff. It's just the... Hi, this is a pain in the ass to use. Stop it. <gasps> right. Well, it, it, go, going deeper in this article, what people are using their tablets for is making television also more interactive. In other words, as they're watching television, they use the tablet to get more interactivity, to look something up or find more content. Mm -hmm. like, 
just well, no, you know, and uh, the I don't know if you've noticed this. Probably not, because you don't use Hulu a lot. But um, on computers, and in some cases, slates. Not on Roku yet, because the UI wouldn't allow for it. But on devices where the UI allows for it, Hulu has started doing interactive ads, where like part of the ad is you interact with it and, and do the other things, giving the advertiser direct feedback and other things, which is, uh, they're primitive at this point, but I see them very much becoming, and I see that form of advertising being very successful, because rather than just being yet another message you tune out, by virtue to get rid of the ad, you have to interact with them, and it just becomes a further augmentation of the experience, if done properly. Now, here's interesting, and I can tell you, they took a survey, and most of these are Apple users, just by, I can tell you right damn now. Uh, survey it. says! <laughs> yeah, anyway, it says, so here's what the survey says. 62% use their tablets daily, okay? That, I can, it's only 62%. I'm surprised it's high. that high. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, wow, okay. Uh, daily tablet users spend an average of only 2.5 2.4 hours per day on tablets. Okay, 85% of tablet use is for personal. No surprise. 77% of tablet use is alone, the bit by themselves. 74% of tablet usage is done at home. Hmm. I guess it's not a mobile device anymore. Most media activities on the tablet, such as you, you know what? I think I know the average tablet user. Tiny. Uh, I'm not kidding. You know, we have the no people. We have this freaking got what is it? How how annoying of a flatmate am I? We have this like 50 inch TV out here, <laughs> and what does he do? He spends his time in his room with his little eight eight seven inch. Slate, <laughs> watching Netflix and Hulu. When it's out here, <laughs> it's just like, what? <laughs> well, I guess if you're in a, in a, in a, so like in a family environment, so maybe he doesn't want to intrude on you, or maybe you don't like your shows, and so that's why he feels maybe more private. And it's Half the time, I'm, I'm over here on the computer, which makes the... I, 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 I don't know. But, uh, the guy's a hermit. <laughs> that's, that's, well, that's part, okay, so that's more of a social thing. It says most media activities on the tablet, such as playing games and watching TV shows, peak with the 18 to 24 uh, year old demographic. So, but what, what this is really telling us is exactly it. This is it, it's tablets are predominantly game and entertainment, and so nowhere near post PC and uh, like Apple would like to believe. And no, like Apple would like to market. Big difference. Yes. And so this is telling me, okay, they're probably going back to the desktops to do real stuff. Probably trying to surf the sites they couldn't really view that, that well on the iPad. And um, the reason why they're doing it alone is because uh, they don't want to get embarrassed of their. Well, I, you know, honestly, if the industry does what, if the web industry does what I would like them to do in terms of design and what I have started to do, I've decided every site I make from this point forward is going to do this, that's going to become less of an issue because current technology allows for website user interfaces to be completely dynamic across form factors where it just adjusts. You don't need a separate mobile site. You don't need this dumbed down thing and this five page site and this other crap. You just need the layout of the same content to change slightly. And honestly, why it's going to be slow, because we have all those free to five dollar templates to fight with that are still doing bad web design 101. I see going forward more and more websites doing that because like or hate these uh, smartphone slate devices, they account for a large share of internet use today. And you are shooting yourself in the foot if you're making somebody uh -huh. go to your device on that thing and then go to it again on their desktop to do what you want. You're forgetting something. All but the iPad, Android, my, my playbook. Uh, HP's touchpad all offer a much better web experience and a fuller web experience on their devices. Android even goes out of the way to allow to, to let you 
uh, do things like say and change your user agent and and, and um, the, the the you know the browser uh, the browser agent from Firefox to whatever the hell you want. Oh no, the, quite the opposite happening. Websites don't need to cater to mobile. Mobile tablets are remember they're going to mature to the desktop. They're, yes. And, However, there's maturing, and then there's UI changes. I'm sorry. What makes sense on a 1920 by 1080 22-inch monitor does not make sense, even if it's 1920 by 1080, on a little 4-inch phone. I'm talking about a website does not show properly, or is very limited, and a lot of things missing, and doesn't even load very well on a lot of uh, no that's no theory. that's not what I'm talking about that that's dying big time but oh, uh, it, 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 oh. it, there's there's UIs that make sense for keyboard and mouse and there's UIs that make sense for oh, touch saying, and oh, there's UIs saying, that make sense for damn this is a tiny fucking screen I can't even read this shit <laughs> I was going to say the stylus is making a huge comeback I, I, I actually noticed more, more no, no, and actually, I, I saw this the other day, and this completely undermines your complaint about the keyboard and shit. Do you know how I see people using their slates? I see them using their stylus, and they're just writing like they would on a piece of paper. They're not typing. They're writing. Well, hey, that old, it, it, remember the old tabs were like that, but writing out on a tablet still is, is a lot slower. I mean, if you, you're not going to write, I, I, I'm sorry, I would have to uh, be a lot bit, Email, for people right. like you and me, I agree. For average user, no, yeah, they I don't. Give you that argument. I won't give you that argument. Human beings are human beings, and uh, short of you becoming somebody coming, coming an expert at cursive or whatever, nobody writes anymore. Actually, cursive is going out, so that means we're stuck with print <laughs> because not even our lowest education levels are wanting to teach cursive anymore. Uh, are you kidding me? They don't teach cursive in second and fourth grade anymore? I, yeah, they're, they're, uh, I had parents come at me because we were discussing in my own school districts, and, and I was like, well, I think they're teaching cursive. My son comes home and said, well, that's in cursive. But other, other schools are not. And, and I had to leave and learn. I had to learn cursive and calligraphy and all this other stuff when I was in school. But, no. The, the key, uh, the key uh, short of maybe... Uh, of a way of equivalent of writing it, typing as fast as you can uh, on, on a keyboard, which I know Android came up with that drawing keyboard, I forget what it's called, where you draw to the letters or something like that. And I, I, I've known some people that would write No, I, I know. Yeah. Some of the modern uh, writers... You have to know cursive, but honestly, you can just write cursive. And people who write quickly... And I, I, I tried it. I have the worst fucking handwriting known to man. And it's like... 80% plus successful with my handwriting. So, if it can read my chicken scratch at speed... Oh, it's not about scanning and reading, but it's, it's whether you... It, we don't... We, we send emails. We don't we don't write letters anymore and then put them in the mail. Because it's, it takes us too long to write. We no, I know, but... but, but um, well, maybe this is a generational thing. Maybe your kids are just screwed. Uh, but I, I can write... <laughs> I, 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 this is why my handwriting is so sloppy. I can write it like 90 words a minute. Uh, and I, I can, in, in full bore, I can type faster than that. You know what? If we do go the route of bringing the size back to write, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe, maybe it is a good thing. I mean, we can go back into learning faster ways of doing it. My point is, is that touch and this whole little virtual crap is no. And, and I... But for now, I keep it. Yes, I, we know you hate touch. Yeah. And, the anti-touch. Well, no, it's... No, 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 no. I hate touch in the way that Apple thinks it is and how Apple pundits and peers want to make it some damn... Uh, 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 audi audience... That technology... Po podcast yeah. audience, YouTube audience... Have you noticed that Marcel's number one complaint is that everybody sees things through the Apple lens? And then how does he analyze touch and slates through the Apple lens? Because that is how, that is what is dominating. I am attacking the Apple lens because what is coming out is the Apple lens. So it makes total logical sense. I am trying to break the damn glass, the, the, the glass lens. It's, it's, it's totally logical what's happening. I attack everything that comes out through puns in media that is projected through the Apple lens, and I want to destroy it. Okay.
okay. That, that and, makes total and, sense and, to me. Anything so, else to get on on tablets? Uh, well, well, okay, so then it goes on, and, and, and I love this. This is how I know this, what these are all Apple users. Because this, 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 trust me, the research reveals emotional connections to these devices, unlike any other in the household. More than 50% of respondents said that a tablet makes them feel happier and more relaxed. These are some damn shallow people we got. <laughs> uh, see what I'm saying? This is how you know it's an Apple demographic. When someone would ask me that, does it make you feel happy? Excuse me? I, I wouldn't even know how to compute that question. This is does well, not compute. <laughs> well, 49%, I, I feel like Spock in Star Trek, in, what was it, Star Trek 4? Or, that was response is illogical. Yeah, it's like, what? How do you feel? I do not understand the frame of the question. <laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? It's like, it's like what? Are you kidding me? Tell her I feel fine. <laughs> makes me feel happier and more relaxed. If, if I had that type of connection, it, now, it, I should, the thing of it is it shouldn't give me, there shouldn't be anything other than it's a tool. I mean, I use tools for other things, like fixing cars, and I don't have a... Oh, tool. bullshit, Ben. Are you telling me you don't have a favorite tool, a favorite car, some inanimate object that you have a, 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 you have an inexplicable emotional attachment to? A tool? No. Like a hammer or something to fix... You're a strange. Oh, uh, 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 okay. Pointless survey right now. I'm gonna do this on the YouTube thing. Everybody who's watching on YouTube, um, YouTube.com/slash the show that sucks spelled S U X. I I, I want to know how many of y'all have an inanimate object that, for reasons you can't explain, you have some sort of you you it, you care about it. It's your you, there's for some reasons there shouldn't be. There's an emotional attachment to the damn thing. Rather, it's a car. A keyboard, a mouse, a particular hammer. A, a, That's not what we're getting at. The, 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 they're saying the tap. I guarantee these, this this type of questioning is not that we all have some nostalgic or attachment, but a computer to me is like a tool, like I'm using a drill. Now I have an attachment to my to to cars that I've owned in the past, very much so. But that's I'm not looking at, at as that as as a uh, a tool, so to speak. I mean, this, this tablet, when someone, I mean, this is totally a biased Apple question. You're saying it makes them feel happier, more or less. And then it goes, uh, do you love your computer? Okay, you're an Apple user. Go, go, go worship at the altar uh, of the uh, yard. percent said tablets make them more effective at managing life. That's a more practical question. 40% agree that my tablet brings out the best in me. Okay, Rusty, please. Okay. No, well, you have to make yourself feel good about the frivolous purchase. I percent agree that my tablet brings out the best in me. I, I, like I said, you have to convince yourself that you you, you made a good purchase. <laughs> now you're being sarcastic, because you know, totally know this is like, I'm totally Apple demographic big ass to freaking that question. Uh, oh my god. Okay, so then it goes on. I, I like I like how it says now not all tablet users feel the same. Tapping into the they reveal varying degrees of tablet love across four things segments. See, I mean this whole word is just sappy crap. Anyway, power it says power trippers, eighteen percent. Young users are often male that love their tablets and use them for everything. Cool and efficient is another category. Frequent users that rely on the tablets to be useful above anything else. Wow, that's an oxymoron. Happy go lucky, twenty percent. Like users that view tablets as friendly source of enjoyment and entertainment, and then 31% proceeding with caution. The lightest and often less technologically savvy users that stick to basic activities. Anyway. Okay uh -huh. then, and that is tablets. <laughs> no, it's not tablets. That's the one. That's one story. Uh, you're going to give me four hours of video to edit, aren't you? <laughs> All right. I hate my iPad. I found this article. I was loving this. <laughs> well, hold on a minute. I, and for that one, I'm gonna put a break in real quick. Hey, don't no need to do it in the audio. I'm just gonna.